Some, some risks have increased. At the same time, what we're seeing is our diversification strategy, which is essentially to not only depend on the cash market, but also start focusing on derivatives markets, has really worked out well. So when we look at our figures that were just released, we're, we're having record results in our derivatives markets. We're having record results on our fixed income markets, record results on our effects, record results on our data and, data and connectivity numbers. So across a range of areas, they've been going really well, and that complements the rather soft market in, in the cash side. However, we're seeing more and more IPOs that are coming up. You see every week now a series of IPOs. We've done over 50 now. I, I think the number is around 55, and we have close to 120 in the pipeline. So uh, we're, we're, we're excited that there's like a bit of a resumption of activity in that, and optimistic about the medium term. I'll get to the IPOs in just a minute. I want to ask you about Hong Kong X's role as a super connector for China. Uh, is this still relevant given that pro-Western countries now are becoming more cautious about their capital investments into China? Yes, I, I would say that it's more important than ever. First of all, over the last 18 months, we have more connectivity initiatives than in the last eight years since the Connect programs has been, have been launched. So lots of new things being made from Swap Connect, ETF Connect, Bond Futures, just like a number of things that allows investors to more easily connect with China. And the other thing that I would point out, that now it's not just about you know, East-West. What we're seeing is uh, the new development of a, what I call a bit of a diagonal that goes all the way from northeast all the way to southwest. We see that corridor that goes all the way to th Southeast Asia, Middle East, Africa, and even Latin America that are becoming very important just in the last two weeks. I was in Brazil last week. Just before that, I was in the Middle East. I was in Thailand. This in the past couple of weeks. So, so that connectivity is also becoming increasingly important. And we think that's going to drive quite a bit of flows for years to come. Hi, I'm Emily Tan, and thanks for watching CNBC. You can check out more of our videos by clicking on the boxes on the screen. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more. Thanks for watching.